My first decision was uh, to come to Canada as an international student, which was way back in 97, 98. But that attempt did not work well, and I decided not to go to Canada at all. Then instead of Canada, I moved to Muscat. I got a job there to teach in one of the top most private university. So I moved there. But when I went there, I met some Canadians and they spoke lovely things about Canada. And looking at my potential, they suggested that Canada would be the next destination for me. So somehow, you know, I, I got this from them that uh, I should try again. And then, then I got married. When I got married, then we were already thinking about making next move because almost it was um, six, seven years in, in, in Oman. And uh, we decided that we'll, we'll come to Canada. Why Canada? I always wanted to see the world, travel, and settle somewhere else. Initial days, were quite exciting but challenging also because on back of mind you there is always one thing that how you're going to run the family how you're going to get a job how you will how you will make a mark in this country which now you call home so those multiple questions were there on my mind other than employment I was referred to certain organizations I started using the free services which of course uh, you know, are funded by the government of Canada or province of uh, Ontario. So I, I started using those resources, which includes uh, uh, newcomer centers, settlement agencies, and of course library. And interestingly, I'm very lucky that I decided to be a volunteer also. So with the help of a wonderful organization, I applied to a position and I got my first volunteer position. And life from that point actually changed. I started at YMCA, then I started at another place, and things started unfolding. I, I found real me when I was working at these two places as a volunteer. And then I believe at one point I decided that I want to be part of that big family, which is non-profit, and do something, make, make some change in lives of others. And my prime focus being a newcomer was to help other newcomers. So at one point, uh, when I really had my inventory list that what are my transferable skills, then I was able to see what field I should go for and what positions I should go for. I did a very wonderful, successful interview with uh, one of the non-profit organizations in Mississauga, which is Peel Multicultural Council. And my first position was a settlement worker. And that position came to me after six months of my landing in Canada. And I'm very proud and I'm always thankful to my first organization. I still work there. I, I, I work there as a settlement specialist. And uh, Peel Multicultural gave me this opportunity to, to, to do what I really love to do. Um, and I feel that I'm blessed in a way that I'm in position to help others. Because now I have knowledge, now I have experience. And the third thing is, Knowledge and experience will only work when you have passion, real passion, real drive to, to help others. Winning the top 25 Canadian Immigrant Award was something like Canada is giving me responsibility. And since I have won that award and before that, I felt that I have responsibility. But especially after this award, I, I have to maintain what I have been promising to the Canadian uh, people that I am here to serve and I'm serving. That award means a lot to me and this is what I say, um, I, I was chosen as one of the successful immigrants, again with the help of others, those who believe in me, those who believe in the, the work I do as a volunteer as well. This is one tip I want to give to especially new Canadians. No matter what happens to you in this journey, stick to your family. Because if you have their support, you have everything. And if you don't have it, then it will, it will, the challenge will be double. So stick as a team, take turns in doing whatever you are doing.